Mentorship is a powerful and transformative relationship that can play a pivotal role in the development of somebody's career. Me personally, I never had a formal mentor. I saw people who were ahead of me or at where I wanted to go and tried to just pick their brains a lot. But in this video, we're going to discuss what is mentorship, the importance of mentorship, and how you can pick the right mentor for you and your career goals. So first, let's define mentorship. Mentorship is a dynamic partnership between somebody who is more experienced with somebody who is a novice or just less experienced than them. The mentor provides guidance, support, and knowledge, fostering the mentee's personal and professional growth. The mentor's role. A mentor in software testing acts as a guide sharing insights into industry best practices, offering constructive feedback, and providing valuable advice based on the wealth of experience. This relationship is built on trust, communication, and a commitment to the mentee's success. The importance of mentorship in software testing. First off, knowledge transfer. In the rapidly evolving landscape of software testing, mentorship serves as a conduit for the transfer of valuable knowledge and skills. Mentors pass on practical insights, helping mentees navigate complex testing scenarios and stay abreast of the latest industry trends. Career Advancement Mentorship accelerates career development by providing mentees with strategic advice on goal setting, skill enhancement, and professional networking. A mentor's guidance can be instrumental in helping software testers climb the career ladder and overcome challenges personal and professional growth. Beyond technical skills, mentorship contributes to the holistic development of individuals. Mentors often provide guidance on soft skills, leadership qualities, and effective communication, shaping well-rounded professionals in the field, building a supportive network. Mentorship fosters the creation of a supportive professional network. Mentees not only benefit from their mentor's expertise, but also gain access to the mentor's network, opening doors to new opportunities, collaborations, and a broader community of like-minded professionals. For example, if I'm your mentor and I know that you're looking for a new job, let's say somebody in my network is hiring or their company is hiring for a certain role. I can suggest you for that company because of my network. Choosing the right mentor. First off, you need to identify your goals. Before seeking a mentor, you must clarify your goals and aspirations in the field. Knowing your objectives will help you find the right mentor who align with your goals and expected outcomes. For example, if my end goal is to be an automation tester or an SDET, having a mentor who is a manual or human tester may not be ideal for me long term. Maybe in the beginning, yes. But if my goals are to be automation, learn to code, use automation tools, having somebody with that background will help me a lot more. Seek compatibility. Look for a mentor whose values, communication style, and approach resonate with you. A strong mentor-mentee relationship thrives on mutual understanding, trust, and compatibility. With your mentor, you gotta be able to trust them. If you don't like them, their beliefs, or personality, it's gonna be hard to trust them. And then our relationship is gonna be awkward. So try to find somebody who aligns with you. Consider experience and expertise. Evaluate potential mentors 
based on their background, their resume, and expertise. Like I said previously, if your end goal is to become an automation engineer or aesthet, try to find a mentor who's already in that field that'll help expedite your process a lot faster. Network within a community. Engage in a community. One day my end goal in the next three to four years is to build the biggest community. I'm still working on it, it's not fully in place yet, but there are other means of networking in this space. You have Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, other websites where you can connect with other people in the field. So use them. That's the point of technology, to connect people who previously you probably wouldn't have access to. For example, I live in New York. So a hundred years ago, if you didn't live in New York, you didn't have access to me. Now with technology, the internet, you can connect with me, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, numerous ways. So you have this access, take advantage of it. Approach with respect and clarity. When approaching a potential mentor, do so with respect for their time and expertise. Clearly articulate your goals, expectations, and the specific areas where you seek guidance. Having a well-defined approach when seeking a mentor shows you're actually taking it serious versus somebody who just says, hey, I don't know what to do. I just need guidance. Do everything for me. If somebody approaches me like that, I'm going to say no. I'm not going to do all the work for you. Show me your commitment by taking the initial steps. Figure out what is your end goal. What do you think are steps to get there? That initial commitment saying, okay, at least on your side, you're trying. Now that you're trying, on my side, I can try as well. But if you're giving zero effort and expecting me to just give you all the answers, that's not going to work out. If you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. Now, back to the video. So just to recap, having a mentor can help your career exponentially. If you have aspirations of climbing the career ladder or pivoting in your career, you may want to seek a mentor. You're going to learn from their experiences. Let's say it took me five years to go from being a junior to a mid-level or a senior tester. I can say it took me five years because I did this wrong, did that wrong. And I can pass on that wisdom and knowledge to you so that you don't have to make those same mistakes. And then you expedite your career because of that. Throughout my career, from company to company, I would find one or two people who are higher than me and kind of latch on and pick their brain and just get to know them. Know about their experience, what led them to where they're at now, and so on. And that's the extent of mentorship I ever had. Nothing ever formal. But having a formal mentor might have expedited my process. Because I've made some mistakes on my way. It made me a better person and a better developer and tester. But if I didn't have to make them, I could have possibly had a easier or faster route to where I am now. And saying all this, this isn't a sales pitch to just get you to be my mentee. Because currently, I don't offer any formal mentorship on my website. You guys who reached out know that. I don't offer it, just don't have the time right now to dedicate to that. Maybe later this year or next year, my priorities and obligations might change, allowing me time to take official mentorship on. But you guys know, you guys message me all the time. If you ever have a question, I'll always answer your questions. Email me, leave a comment, and so on. I'm here to help you guys. It may take me a day or two to get back to you, because once again, I'm just a busy person, but I will try my best to get back as soon as possible. Let's paint the picture. 
you've expedited your career trajectory by simply getting a mentor and learning from somebody else's experiences so that you don't have to make those same mistakes. They can tell you the fast lane to get to where you wanna go. Cause think about it, the easiest way to get there is to ask somebody who's already there. They can tell you, oh, make a right on this street, go straight four more blocks, make a left and you'll get there. So by asking somebody who's already at where you wanna go can help you greatly. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns for future videos, leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.